In the competitive field of virtualization and cloud computing, VMware skills are highly sought after. This video presents the top 25 interview questions and answers to help you prepare effectively for your next VMware interview. Designed for both beginners and experienced professionals, the content covers a range of topics, from fundamental concepts to advanced techniques. Equip yourself with the knowledge needed to excel in your VMware job interviews. 1. What is virtualization and how does VMware implement it? Virtualization refers to the process of creating a virtual version of something, such as a server, storage device, network, or operating system. VMware implements virtualization through its Hyper-V or technology, specifically VMware ESG, which allows multiple virtual machines, VMIS, to run on a single physical host. Each VM operates independently with its own operating system and applications, sharing the host's resources efficiently. VMware solutions provide tools for managing, scaling, and securing these virtualized environments, enabling organizations to optimize hardware utilization and reduce costs. 2. Explain the difference between VMware ESG and vSphere. VMware ESG is a hyper-VIS or that allows for the creation and management of virtual machines, vMIS, on physical servers. It operates directly on hardware, enabling efficient resource allocation and high performance. On the other hand, VMware vSphere is a comprehensive suite of virtualization products that includes ESG as its core component. vSphere provides additional features such as vCenter Server for centralized management, vMotion for live migration of vMIS, and high availability solutions. Essentially, ESG is the foundation, while vSphere offers an integrated management layer and enhanced functionality for virtualized environments. 3. What is versus motion and how does it work? vMotion is a VMware technology that enables live migration of running virtual machines from one physical host to another without downtime. This process allows for maintenance, load balancing, or resource optimization without interrupting the services provided by the virtual machines. vMotion works by sharing the memory and state information of the virtual machine across the hosts over a high-speed network connection. Once the migration is complete, the virtual machine is continued on the target host while remaining in operation, ensuring seamless availability for users. 4. Describe the purpose and functionality of VMware DRS, Distributed Resource Scheduler. VMware DRS, Distributed Resource Scheduler, is designed to optimize resource allocation across a cluster of virtual machines by automatically balancing workloads. It monitors resource usage and dynamically moves virtual machines to ensure optimal performance and availability. DRS can prioritize virtual machines based on resource requirements, ensuring critical applications receive necessary resources. It also allows for manual overrides, enabling administrators to fine-tune resource distribution. By automating load balancing, DRS enhances operational efficiency and improves overall system responsiveness. 5. What is VMware HA, High Availability, and How Does It Enhance System Reliability? VMware HA, High Availability, is a feature designed to minimize downtime in virtualized environments. It automatically detects failures of hosts or virtual machines and restarts affected VMs on available hosts within a cluster. This process ensures that services remain accessible, even in the event of hardware failures. HA uses a heartbeat monitoring system to determine host status and can ISO late faulty hosts. By enabling HA, organizations can significantly reduce recovery time, maintain business continuity, and enhance the reliability of applications hosted in virtual environments. 6. Explain the concept of VMware FT, fault tolerance, and its use cases. VMware Fault Tolerance, FT, is a feature that provides continuous availability for virtual machines by creating a live shadow instance of a VM in the event of a hardware failure. FT ensures that the shadow VM takes over seamlessly without any downtime. This is particularly useful for mission-critical applications that require high availability. Use cases include financial services, healthcare applications, and any environment where uptime is paramount. FT works best in scenarios with limited resource demands, as it requires additional CPU and memory resources for the shadow VM. 7. What are resource pools in VMware and how are they used? Resource pools in VMware are logical abstractions that allow administrators to manage and allocate resources such as CPU and memory among virtual machines, vMIS, within a vSphere environment. They enable the grouping of vMIS and can prioritize resource allocation based on business requirements. Resource pools facilitate efficient resource management ensuring that critical applications receive the necessary resources without affecting other workloads. They also support hierarchical structures, allowing nested resource pools, which helps in organizing resources according to different departments or projects within an organization. 8. Describe the process of creating and managing virtual machines in vSphere. Creating and managing virtual machines, vMIS, in vSphere involves several key steps. First, access the vSphere client and connect to the vCenter server or ESG host. To create a VM, Click on New Virtual Machine and follow the wizard, selecting options such as VM name, storage location, and resource allocation. 
AFTER configuring settings like CPU, memory, and disk. You can install an operating system using an ISO image or physical media. Management tasks include monitoring resource usage, performing snapshots for backups, and adjusting resource allocations as needed. Regular maintenance, such as applying patches and updates, is crucial for optimal performance and security. 9. What is VMware Air versus SAN and how does it differ from traditional storage solutions? VMware versus SAN, Virtual SAN, is a software-defined storage solution integrated with VMware vSphere. It aggregates local storage devices from ESG hosts in a cluster to create a shared storage pool for virtual machines. Unlike traditional storage solutions, which rely on dedicated hardware, versus SAN utilizes the existing hardware resources, reducing costs and complexity. It offers features such as high availability, scalability, and performance optimization through policy-based management. By simplifying storage provisioning and management, versus SAN enables faster deployment and better resource utilization in virtualized environments. 10. Explain the purpose and benefits of VMware NSX. VMware NSX is a network virtualization and security platform that enables the creation of virtual networks, independent of the underlying physical infrastructure. Its purpose is to provide agility and flexibility in deploying, managing, and securing applications in a multi-cloud environment. Key benefits include enhanced security through micro-segmentation, simplified network management via automation, and improved operational efficiency. NSX allows organizations to streamline network provisioning and optimize resource utilization, supporting DevOps initiatives and enabling rapid application deployment while maintaining compliance and security policies. 11. How would you troubleshoot a VM that is experiencing high CPU usage? To troubleshoot a VM experiencing high CPU usage, first, identify the VM in question and check its resource allocation settings. Use tools like VMware vCenter to monitor CPU performance metrics. Look for processes consuming excessive CPU resources within the VM using Task Manager or Top Command. Assess whether the VM is over-provisioned or if there are resource contention issues with other VMIS review logs for any application errors and consider resizing the VM or redistributing workloads across other VMIS necessary. Adjusting resource limits and reservations may also help mitigate high CPU usage. 12. What steps would you take to resolve network connectivity issues between VMIS? To resolve network connectivity issues between VMIS, first, verify that the VMIS are powered on and correctly configured. Check the virtual network adapter settings to ensure they are connected to the correct virtual switch. Next, confirm that the virtual switch is operational and not experiencing any issues. Utilize VMware tools to check the network status and configuration of each VM. Additionally, review firewall settings both at the VM level and network level to ensure they are not blocking traffic. Finally, perform a ping test between VMIS to diagnose connectivity problems and identify if further troubleshooting is needed. 13. Describe your approach to optimizing storage performance in a VMware environment. Optimizing storage performance in a VMware environment involves several strategies. First, utilize VMware's versus SAN for efficient storage management, leveraging its distributed architecture. Next, monitor performance metrics using vSphere's built-in tools and third-party applications to identify bottlenecks. Implementing storage policies tailored to application needs can enhance performance. Additionally, consider using SSDs for caching to accelerate I.O. operations. Regularly analyzing and adjusting data store configurations, such as using thin provisioning and ensuring proper alignment, also contributes to improved storage efficiency. 14. How do you monitor and manage resource utilization across a vSphere cluster? Monitoring and managing resource utilization in a vSphere cluster involves several techniques. First, utilize vSphere's built-in performance charts and metrics to assess CPU, memory, and storage usage. Tools like VMware vRealize Operations can provide deeper insights, offering predictive analytics and alerts for resource bottlenecks. Implement resource allocation settings, such as limits and reservations, to optimize performance. Regularly review and adjust DRS settings to balance workloads effectively. Additionally, analyze historical data to identify trends and make informed decisions on resource provisioning and scaling. 15. What tools and techniques do you use for capacity planning in a VMware infrastructure? Capacity planning in a VMware infrastructure involves several tools and techniques. First, vSphere's built-in performance charts can help track resource utilization over time. VMware vRealize Operations provides in-depth analytics and forecasting capabilities, allowing administrators to predict future resource needs based on historical data. Additionally, utilizing capacity planning reports can assist in identifying trends and potential bottlenecks. Regular assessments of resource pools and clusters, along with workload analysis, ensure that any changes in demand are proactively managed. 16. What security measures would you implement in a VMware environment? Implementing security measures in a VMware environment includes several key practices. First, ensure that all Hyper-V SORs, virtual machines, and management interfaces are regularly patched and updated to mitigate vulnerabilities. 
Utilize VMware's built-in security features like VM encryption and secure boot to protect data at rest and ensure the integrity of the virtual machine. Establish robust network security by using VMware NSX to create micro-segmentation, which isolates workloads. Additionally, employ role-based access control, RBAC, to limit user permissions based on their job functions, reducing the risk of unauthorized access. Regular security audits and monitoring are essential for identifying potential threats. 17. Explain the concept of VMware hardening and its importance. VMware hardening refers to the process of securing the VMware infrastructure by applying security best practices and configurations. This includes disabling unnecessary services, enforcing strong password policies, limiting user privileges, and implementing network segmentation. Hardening is crucial because it helps mitigate potential security threats and vulnerabilities that could be exploited by attackers. By following a hardening guide, organizations significantly reduce the attack surface and enhance the resilience of their virtual environment against unauthorized access and data breaches. Regular audits and updates to security configurations are essential to maintain a robust security posture. 18. How do you ensure proper backup and disaster recovery for VMware virtual machines? To ensure proper backup and disaster recovery for VMware virtual machines, implement a comprehensive strategy that includes regular backups using tools like VMware vSphere data protection or third-party solutions. Utilize snapshots for quick recovery points, but avoid relying solely on them for long-term backups. Establish a disaster recovery plan that incorporates replication to a secondary site using VMware Site Recovery Manager. Test the recovery process regularly to validate that backups are effective and that recovery procedures are well understood by the team. Document all processes and maintain an updated inventory of vMiz and their backup statuses. 19. Describe best practices for VMware patching and upgrades. To ensure successful VMware patching and upgrades, follow these best practices. First, always back up your environment before applying any updates. Test patches in a lab environment to identify potential issues. Schedule maintenance windows to minimize disruption, notifying users in advance. Review VMware's release notes for compatibility and known issues. Utilize VMware Update Manager for automated patch management, ensuring compliance across hosts. Lastly, monitor system performance post-update to quickly address any arising issues, maintaining system integrity and availability. 20. What considerations are important when designing a VMware network architecture? Designing a VMware network architecture requires careful planning. Key considerations include bandwidth requirements, latency, and redundancy. Proper segmentation of traffic using VLANs enhances security and performance. It's essential to ensure sufficient IP address allocation and consider using distributed switches for consistency across hosts. Network security policies should be integrated, including firewall rules and access control lists. Monitoring and management tools are vital for maintaining network health. Additionally, consider the integration of physical network components with virtual environments to ensure seamless communication and resource allocation. 21. How does VMware integrate with container technologies like Kubernetes? VMware integrates with container technologies like Kubernetes through its Tanzu portfolio, which enables the deployment, management, and scaling of Kubernetes clusters on VMware infrastructure. Tanzu Kubernetes Grid, TKG, simplifies the setup of Kubernetes environments, allowing developers to run containerized applications seamlessly alongside traditional vMiz. Additionally, VMware provides tools like vSphere with Tanzu, which allows users to manage both vMiz and Kubernetes workloads from a single platform. This integration ensures effective resource utilization, consistent security policies, and enhances operational efficiency across hybrid cloud environments. 22. Explain the concept of VMware Cloud Foundation and its components. VMware Cloud Foundation is an integrated software platform that provides a unified architecture for running both traditional and modern applications in a cloud environment. It combines VMware vSphere versus SAN, NSX, and VMware vRealize Suite into a single solution. This enables organizations to deploy and manage a complete cloud infrastructure stack with ease. The components work together to provide compute, storage, networking, and management capabilities, allowing for consistent operations across public and private clouds while simplifying lifecycle management, automation, and resource optimization. 23. What is versus VMware Tanzu and how does it relate to modern application development? VMware Tanzu is a suite of products and tools designed to help organizations build, run, and manage modern applications on Kubernetes. It enables developers to create cloud-native applications with a focus on microservices architecture and containerization. Tanzu provides capabilities for deploying applications consistently across different environments, including public clouds and on-premises infrastructure. By streamlining the development lifecycle, Tanzu promotes agility and collaboration between development and operations teams, supporting DevOps practices and accelerating application delivery. 24. Describe the process of setting up a hybrid cloud environment using VMware technologies. Setting up a hybrid cloud environment using VMware technologies involves several key steps. 
First, assess your existing infrastructure and determine compatibility with VMware cloud solutions. Next, deploy VMware vSphere versus SAN and NSX to create a unified architecture. Configure VMware Cloud on AWS or VMware Cloud Foundation for seamless integration with public clouds. Implement VMware HCX for application migration and interconnectivity between on-premises and cloud resources. Ensure proper network configuration, security policies, and monitoring tools are in place to manage workloads effectively across both environments. 25. How would you approach migrating a large-scale physical infrastructure to a VMware-based virtual environment? Migrating a large-scale physical infrastructure to a VMware-based virtual environment involves several steps. First, assess the current physical servers to understand workloads, dependencies, and performance metrics. Next, create a detailed migration plan that includes a timeline, resource allocation, and risk management strategies. Utilize VMware tools like VMware vCenter Converter for the conversion of physical machines to virtual machines. Test the migration process with non-critical systems to identify potential issues. Finally, execute the migration, ensuring proper monitoring and validation of the new virtual environment to maintain performance and reliability. As you prepare for your VMware interview, these top 25 questions and answers will equip you with the knowledge and confidence to impress your potential employer. Understanding these fundamental concepts and scenarios not only enhances your technical expertise but also demonstrates your commitment to the role. We hope this guide serves you well in your preparation journey. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. Good luck with your interview.